The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're flipping a vocal sample into a trap beat using FL Studio. The sample pack that I'm going to go digging through is the brand new organic female vocals available now at wholeloose.com. And I'm going to go through the dry, actually, I'm going to go through the processed. Actually, I like that one. I like that one too. I'm going to just drag this first one onto the timeline. And I'm going to take the next clip. Drop it right there like that. So let's start by double clicking this one, change it on stretch, and let's change the time. And I'm just gonna grab the razor blade tool, put a cut right here. I can go back to here and just delete this and delete this. Highlight these two pieces Command B a couple times, and we've got ourselves 16 bar pattern. Now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. I actually think that this one has a little bit of a gap before it starts, so I'm gonna zoom in on this first one and just see if I can. Oops. Man, I'm not good with these Windows keyboard shortcuts yet. There we go. And then Shift Scroll, boom. That's the sauce. The next thing I want to do is on the channel itself. I'm going to do some processing on the sample in a couple different ways. The first thing I want to do is drop a uh, EQ2 on here. Type, we'll do a high pass. Boom. Do a little low pass on this side. Now it's still a little harsh in the mids. That's a little better. The next thing I want to do is add a third party plugin that I installed called ShaperBox. Now I'm going to use the volume shaping out of this. We're going to split it into two so that the low end is getting a different kind of volume shaper pattern from the high end. I'm going to have this be two bar. And now this is gonna duck out of the way of our 808. And now for the high end, I'm gonna do a similar thing. But we're gonna shift it over like this. That's giving it a little pumping effect with uh, without really completely pumping the volume of the whole thing. But I think I'm also going to put one more shaper box on here afterwards to do a little bit of that kind of tremolo effect. So let's do this and we'll do a really fast pattern. like. Sounding pretty good. The next thing I want to add in is a drum pattern. So I'm going to hit plus here. Let's make a pattern called drums. And I'm going to go into my rack and add ourselves a sampler. And it's already got the uh, stock sounds from the blank channel in here. I'm just going to switch this to two because we're using channel one for our synth now. In fact, I'm just going to bump all these up once. Let's see, do this one right here. We'll make this one a hat too. So let's go into our sample packs. I'm going to check out Urban Beats 3. For our 808, I'll pull one of the disrespectful 808s. Can't go wrong with the one in C. Drop that onto there. For the claps, longtime favorite of mine is number 28. And I'm going to start this pattern off 
with just filling in the claps. That way we know where everything's going to be. And I'm also going to paint these in. So let's, let's go ahead and just uh, draw in one of these, drop it there, click on it. You can hit command, command click on it and command B a couple times. Next thing I want to put in here is a percussion. I like that one. Let's try, uh, Next thing I'm going to do is go into this patch and hit the percussion with a little bit of sauce. I'm sorry, shift. I don't know. This knob should be called sauce. Hey. There we go. And the next thing I'm going to add in are some closed hats. I'm going to drop this one on here. I like this pattern right here. And I'm going to hit the uh, hi-hats with the same sauce that we did with the percussion, but maybe even a little bit more. And then we're going to finalize this pattern with a nice open hat. Let's. I like this one, but I think the attack is a little bit harsh, so I'm just going to uh, go in here and turn on this, pull this down, this down, and put this on the two. Actually, let's put it on the four, or the three. And the final thing that leaves us to add in is our 808. Before we put this pattern in, I'm just going to change this to one so you don't accidentally get any overlapping 808s. And I'm going to do the same thing with the uh, sustain and hold. Are you tired of searching through overused, low-quality vocal samples? Have you wasted days of your life mixing your embarrassing vocal recordings? Introducing the Organic Vocal Bundle, the complete collection of male and female samples, sauced up and ready to drop in your productions. The Organic Vocal Bundle is available now only at Holoops.com. Before we go and record in some 808s, I'm just going to take all these drums that we put in and say split by channel. And we could delete all this stuff because these are all of our recordings at once. And we're just going to put them in one at a time. So we could start out with the clap and we'll just leave space for our 808. And use the paintbrush tool a little quicker. Put one here, here, there. That's more like it. Let's start clicking in an 808 pattern that we like. Zoom in. I'll do a double one right here. Actually, let's just take these notes. You can stretch them out just a little bit. And then we got ourselves our 808 pattern. The 
The next thing I want to do to add some switch up this beat is maybe pick some ones to flip backwards. So I'm going to right click on this and say make unique. Double click on it. Let's see what this one sounds like backwards. search and see if I can find a triangle here. So I'm going to do smart find in this triangle. And let's do triangles in metal. And then just switch this to one voice. There you have it. That's my finished trap beat using a vocal in FL Studio. Well, there you have it. That's my trap beat flipping a vocal sample in FL Studio 20. I hope you found the tips and tricks in this tutorial useful, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.